Wish it luck. Well, I'd be dipped. How about that? Instantly. And it floats as well. Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. Got another set of Retivest walkie talkie radios to test today. And these ones have a unique feature, which I will test at the end of the video. And that's going to involve chucking one of these radios into a bath of water. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Let's crack into it. You get two radios in the box, a complete matched set with a base station. The model number is RT649P, and these are completely full weatherproof radios, IP67 rated. Now, I can't think many people watch Fred in the Shed that maybe do kayaking and windsurfing, but we do get a lot of fishermen, and I used to be a fisherman myself, and I think these radios would be the perfect fisherman's radio. Quick look what we get in the box. Two radios themselves, obviously. You do get a charging base, which is quite a nice option. Um, I did use this to charge the radios when they came in. They came with about half power in the batteries. But there, I did notice there's no charging LED on the base like you get on a Bofang. So when you do connect it to the power, you, you don't really know that it's connected. But it obviously does work. As far as the power goes, 5 volt USB obviously. It does come with a power supply which is quite rare because most radios they allow you to use your phone charger. It's a bit of a flap to be honest with you. You get this little two pin here it goes into a uh, an adapter which does have the proper insulators on the pegs there but yeah it's a little bit how you're doing. I mean most people look you're just going to use your 5 volt phone charger and it's a micro USB connector. Just a small bit of setting up needed before you can use the radio. Have to undo these two screws here, remove the waterproof back, and inside you'll see there are three AA NIMH batteries in cellophane. Simply remove the cellophane, insert the batteries. Doesn't give a standby or run time in the manual, but I should think that on experience that then batteries would last all night. They are 1200 mAh. And it'd be quite handy to have them on double A's because if you were worried, you could just pack a good quality set of alkaline batteries and you could swap them over and you'll be good to go. The final thing is just to insert the belt clip. The belt clip itself, it's an all plastic construction. It is nicely made. It's quite thick. I do prefer the ones that have a metal hinge. I just think they're a little bit more robust. The radio, they're quite heavy actually in the hands. They feel quite nice. They're 243 grams. I did weigh them. So again, I, I think maybe a metal sprung clip might have been better, especially as these are supposed to be used outside. But time will tell on that. But it certainly feels quite secure once it's in the clip there right okay let's switch the radio on and just go through the functions thankfully it's very very basic and easy to use first thing you notice when you turn on the radio it does have a nice clear backlit reversed lcd display a little bit unusual for a radio by default the up and down button does the volume um again i prefer that really to do the channels myself but not a problem it does go very loud goes up to about seven there no problem at all on the volume control. To change the channels, you then just press the menu button once, and then you've got your 16 channels. Of course, this is a perfectly legal UK radio. You don't need a license to operate this radio. Has half a watt, which is the UK standard. There is a FCC version of this radio available, not available in the UK and that would have two watts output so in the future with reprogramming software for those of you that are interested such as chirp i can see no reason once it's supported that you probably could switch the power up to two watts but in the box straight out of the box you get half a watt uk legal power thankfully these radios are very easy to use one press on the left button switches the radio on a second press will operate a core tone to its sister radio lets you know you're ready to talk. You can change that ringtone. I think there's about 10 options. Then there's the channel select. Then there's the sub privacy codes. Now the idea is here is that if you these both these radios are on the same channel, you can then set a privacy code. I believe 
there's about 120. Yeah, there's 121 different codes. So you have to be on the same channel and the same subcode, and then only these two channels will communicate. It won't receive anybody else's signal. So if you're in a very busy environment, um, say you're on the beach with your kids or something, you don't want your kids speaking to anybody else, you just set these radios up so they're on the same channel, same privacy code. However, if someone has got the privacy codes turned off, which you can, you can do on this radio, so you can turn those off, then it will receive all signals. So someone can still listen to your conversation, but they won't be able to join in. I hope that makes sense. Next option is to change that call tone. And you get... Yeah, you get the idea, don't you? There's about 10 to choose from. Then there has a, is a Vox feature, which means you can set the radio so it operates on the sound of your voice. Has a dual watch feature. This is quite good. The idea being if you've got more than two of you, perhaps in a group, you can um, set this that it will monitor two different channels at the same time. So if there is plenty of you, you're not all going to be talking on the same channel. If you're split it into two channels, this radio will then monitor both of those channels. And as soon as it receives a signal, you'll be able to hear what's going on. Quite useful if you're in a large party. We'll leave that switched off for this test. And that's really about it for the menu system. Very nice and easy to use. There is an LED lamp and an emergency SOS feature. I'll show you that in a second. And the final button on the front here is just a monitor and scan. You press that once and then the radio scans through the 16 PMR channels. Press it again to stop. And if you hold up this down for three seconds, That just breaks the squelch. So if, for example, there is someone distant from you and you, you can't receive them properly, just need to hold that button down to hear their signal. Right, let me just show you the LED lamp. Let's just turn the main lights off in the shack here. Bottom of the radio, we have two separate LED lights. First one is a plain white, very bright LED light. Again, if you were thinking of using this at night time, say night fishing or something, quite useful. You'll be surprised how many times that you use that. Second one is a red LED for the emergency SOS feature. Now if you hold down this button, which I'll do in a second, an alarm will sound and it will flash. You can silence the alarm very quickly by just pressing the PTT and just having the light flash. And let me just demonstrate that. So you hold this down for three seconds. Push the PTT and then you have a very, very bright red LED. Again, I'm thinking when I used to go fishing, I have done night fishing, if you was perhaps across the other side of a lake to your mate or his swim was maybe a little bit down the bank, if you wanted to attract his attention, you wanted to talk to him, you're not going to shout out in the middle of the night. So you could hold that on one side of the bank, he would see that you need his attention and uh, that would be how you would get his attention. Going to do a very basic transmit and receive test. Now, people always ask me in the comment, comments, Fred, what's the range of these radios? It depends on your terrain. It's a half watt radio. This one does have a nice long antenna that will help it. But general speaking, uh, if you're going to use this, say, as a fisherman's radio, you'll be out in the countryside, you should be looking at about half a mile for good, clear audio without the signal breaking up. Unfortunately, I don't live in the countryside. I live on a very modern, enclosed, cluttered housing estate, lots of buildings, lots of infrastructure, lampposts, things like that. So I know from my own testing of these half-watt radios, I can probably get between maximum of maybe five or 600 metres. So we're gonna go outside. I'm not going to worry too much about the distance. I'm going to put a couple of rows of houses between myself and the receiving radio and do a test. And I'll walk a little bit further, maybe put an extra row of houses between the radios. And what we're looking for really is just the audio quality of the signal, whether it's breaking up, whether it's picking up any hums, any interference. And hopefully it will sound good. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll do that. So here we are just out on the street. Not too far, a couple of rows of houses between the... Uh, this radio in the house probably 250 meters something like that for the first test so i'm going to press that call button see what that sounds like and then do a basic audio test 
your audio test one two one two three four a couple of rows of houses from the radio your audio test one two one two three four a couple of rows of houses from the radio audio one two one two audio so there we go i've walked on a little bit further just about 350 meters now from the house an estimate about three rows of houses so that's not a bad test for a little half watt radio and gonna do some audio now yeah audio check one two 350 meters there about yeah audio check one two 350 meters there about audio one two one two one two audio so, uh, nothing wrong with the audio on this radio you wouldn't expect it really. I mean, it's got a very large speaker there. It does have quite a nice clear audio, goes very loud. So I think a final test to do on this radio is the submergence test. It does have a built-in emergency feature that if you were to drop this in water, apparently the little white light is supposed to come on to show you where it I is. I think we're going, uh, we're going to do that now. And let's see if that's, that feature works. Here we are. This is a bizarre test, isn't it? I think the easiest way would just be to drop one radio into this bathtub of water and that emergency light should uh, come on. So I'm going to drop the blind and uh, yeah, I'm going to chuck it in the bath. Wish it luck. Well, I'd be dipped. How about that? Instantly. And it floats as well. I'm having to hold it underwater. And there you go. Look at that. Well, that is a pretty brilliant feature, isn't it? If you were to drop this in a river. For the final test, let's just key the other radio and see, make sure it works. <laughs> it does. It's working. And there we go. I'll get it out again. I don't know how you turn it off now. I suppose press lamp. Yeah, lamp off. And then another quick radio check. There you go. So it does what it says on the tin. If you drop this in water, instantly the light comes on. That is a good feature, especially if you're going to use this near any water. I think that's really about it. The Retives RT649P, waterproof, as tested by Freddie in the shedding above, leisure radio. Conclusions. Yeah, they're a nice pair of radios. I like the fact they come in with the charging base, keeps everything together. Also, I think it's worth a mention the fact that you can swap out those AA rechargeable batteries and put your own alkaline batteries in if you're going on a long trip and you're worried about battery consumption. That's, that should take care of that. Now, Retivest, they send these radios in for me to review free of charge, of course, but I'm not on any commission. I'm not on any after sales nothing like that so i do try and make these reviews as honest as i possibly can and i do recommend these radios if you want a fully waterproof leisure radio so i think that's really about it from fred in the shed there's the thumbs up from me if you get a second just hit me a thumbs up down below i do appreciate it thanks for dropping in i do appreciate your view time i'm a very small channel i don't get that many views but as always i'd like to say thanks for watching cheers look after each other take care and of course I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.